What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the 10th episode of The Black Belt Show. I'm sorry this episode took so long to make. I came back from Christmas break and I had some computer issues. Every time I started filming, my computer started freezing and I had no idea what any of that was about. So I had to get that fixed. I typed into Google, uh, computer no work, why do this? And it came back saying, hey, something wrong with your RAM. And I found the RAM stick that was broken this ram stick right here and i was about to throw it away but matt was like hey let's prank steven we'll just give this to steven thinking hey you've been doing such a good job making your best of videos here's a good stick of ram to put in your computer <laughs> he's gonna put it in his computer and it's not gonna work <laughs> it's gonna be so much fun all right let's get to this week's projects all right, first up, we have a portfolio by James R2, and I like the site a lot for a few reasons. Let's get into them now. The first reason is he has different font families throughout his site. One way to make your site look really good is just by changing up the font family. It's so simple to do in your CSS, and it just adds an extra level of creativity and depth to your site. So go do that in most of your projects. So as you can see, it's a nice little like calligraphy font here for any title, as you can see down here in portfolio as well. And then just a nice readable font whenever he does sentences or paragraphs. Really good touch. All right, and then you can see him here. That's what James looks like. Actually, that's what he looks like. His, his dad is the uh, Facebook default profile picture, and his mom is the Twitter egg. So that's what he ends up looking like. So, <laughs> All right, and then we have his, his uh, portfolio here with all of his sites. And when you hover over him, you can see the name pops up out of nowhere. Really good touch there. And his About Me section is especially good because he put a bunch of pictures that go with each category where he talks about, uh, about himself. So do this in your portfolios. Uh, I believe a lot of people do just like a paragraph about themselves. That's fine, that's good. But just add some pictures in there. We all know how to add images, right? Just add more images to your site. So this site has a bunch of images, really good color scheme, and the font family. That's why I chose this one. It's a really good example of a portfolio. Great job, James. I hope you guys aren't too hungry because this next site is all about Mel's Diner and it's made by Sophia W. All these links and all these images are clickable and they go to the original Mel's.com site, which is a super awesome touch. She didn't have to create all those pages. She just made a nice looking front page and let the buttons do all the work. Great job on that. So as you can see, we have this nav bar and all these links go to the exact link on the original site. We have a DoorDash button. So if I click on this, yeah, I can order DoorDash from the comfort of my living room and I can just get a milkshake whenever I want. So I might have to do this uh, <laughs> this weekend probably. We have a menu button here. So this, you can see the whole menu of Mel's. This is just a super all encompassing comprehensive site, everything about Mel's. And actually each one of these, you click on them, it goes to that specific section of the menu. So if you're lazy like me and you don't wanna like have to look through the menu, I just wanna click breakfast and I'm right there. I love this site. This is so good. You can see all the locations by clicking on that. All right, this is making me too hungry, especially that picture of a strawberry milkshake. Uh, I might have to get that uh, after this is done. So I need to get done with these videos real quick. Good job, Sophia. If you're a big fan of gaming like I am, then you're gonna love this Corsair site by Jun Long W. It's a good mix of style and functionality because all these links, a lot like the Mel site, are clickable and they go to the original Corsair.com site. Love that you guys are doing this. Keep this up. Make sure your links go somewhere. So one thing I noticed, I love the sticky nav bar. Great job. And we have a good looking area here. Nothing to complain about there. But one thing that really impressed me, this image here is nice and tall, but these ones here add up to be the same height. And yes, you can see here, this row too. This is just a great style technique. Um, I just love that, something about it. All right, the biggest thing that I loved about this site is this footer. If you want to get onto the Black Belt show, make a good footer. I don't know what it is, but whenever I see a good footer, I just, I want to congratulate you because it's the most boring part of the site. It's at the bottom, it's just words, it's all blah. But you put in the work to do this part and make it look really good. That's the secret to getting into the Black Belt show. So congratulations, Jun Long. You found the secret to making it into my show. Isaiah Lay has made this awesome Marvel site. And if you know anything about me, you know that I love comic book movies. Although I like DC comics better, I still like Marvel comics a lot. So let's take a look at this. So rest in peace, Stan Lee. 
what a great guy. He gave us all these awesome characters. Got to give a shout out to that guy right there. And let's go to this characters page. This is such a good looking page. Look at this. The things hover and it drops down. It's, what a great touch. There's the big bad villain, T. Hanos. Um, and then I'm actually so good. I'll actually name the alter egos of each of these superheroes. All right, starting with Iron Man. That one's the easiest, probably. Ned Stark. And then we have Captain America, which obviously Aaron Rodgers. And Black Widow, actually her real name is Black Widow. That's what her mom named her. Uh, Hulk, Dr. Jekyll. Uh, Hawkeye, I believe his name is Oliver Queen. And Thor, real name, Chris Hemsworth. I'm super good. No one can beat me. I can just name any comic book character. There's not just characters either. There is a movies page, which has, I think, every movie in the Marvel Universe, if not... It has most of them, and the games page, which again has tons of games. This was my favorite game from last year, Marvel Spider-Man. Awesome site. This looks super legit and like the real Marvel site. I gotta give you props, Isaiah. Great, great job. Last but certainly not least is Bungie.net by Vaughn S. Now, this in front of you is actually Bungie.net. This is the original site. I need to show this to you first so that you can get an appreciation for what Vaughn made. So let's take a look at the original first. All right, so this is a really good looking site. So Bungie, they make Destiny and Halo. Right, I can see why he chose this site. It's a lot of content. There's a lot of pictures. I like the cool background colors, right? Everything looks really, really good. And we have a cool looking footer at the bottom. All right, so let's take a look at what Vaughn made. Yeah, so this is Vaughn's site. And honestly, I'd be freaking out more if me and another instructor didn't help him make this for, oh, the past five months. I would have lost my mind if I just saw this. I would not have known a kid made this. This is fantastic. The attention to detail here is amazing. And it's because he spent a ton of time making it. So as you can see, everything is perfect. We have this little slight little hover effect, which is exact on the real site. There's all the content here. We have everything laid out exactly where it's supposed to be. And we have this awesome looking footer. Guys, this is what five months work gets you. It's such a good job. And actually, I wanna show you every little detail of the site. So there's something that my camera is covering up. Let's see if, how do I, maybe if I pull myself. All right, there you go. You can see that little, I didn't want you to miss that. Great job, Vaughn. That's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. What are you still doing here? Go, get to work. Get coding, you should not be watching this still. Turn off this video, get to work. This is, this is Hackingtons, this is not Watchingtons. Please start coding, you should not be watching this. What are you still doing here? If you're not gonna work, I'm gonna have to write an email to your parents. All right, all right, if you're, all right fine, I'll write an email to your parents right now, get to work.